guys and welcome back so today I'm coming to you with long-awaited face tutorial I know a lot of you have been waiting for this one and I really hope that you're gonna find this video helpful and before we jump into this tutorial I want to stress one thing and that is uh, I'm going to show you how I draw faces in my art style and I'm going to present you tips and advices that works for me so with that being said, you are not forced to follow any of these rules and I'm not saying that the way I'm drawing the faces is the only right one, so please keep that in mind. And yeah, if we have that cleared out, I think we're ready to proceed straight to the tutorial. Okay, so firstly we're gonna start with acknowledging some basics of face construction and we'll simplify everything into shapes, so that will help to keep the right proportions while drawing the face. First of all, there's an oval shape that corresponds to an overall outline of the face. Next, there is a round shape on the upper part of the skull that indicates the back of the head which has a lot of volume to it. This shape will remind you that you can't draw the face flat. Next, there is a vertical axis of symmetry that will help you to keep your drawing similar on both left and right side. And lastly, there is a horizontal axis that will mark the place for the eyes. And with that quick division, we're ready to proceed to the drawing. So, I'm starting off with transferring my shapes and lines onto a fresh piece of paper to have a base for the face. I sketch it with my Prismacolor pencil, but you can also use a normal graphite pencil, it's up to you. I always stick to these shapes while drawing faces because it just makes the process quicker and easier since you can always catch the proportions right away and you will have a solid base for creating more details later on. Once I'm done with this, I proceed to defining face features and I'm starting with marking the place where nose starts, just between the eyes. Next, I'm sketching a line to mark where the tip of the nose is going to be. And then I also sketch a line to symbolize the placement of the lips. And on this stage you are to decide about how your face is going to look like along with its features. For example, if you place the lines for the nose closer to each other, the nose will eventually be shorter, and so on. And then lastly I'm sketching two arches on both sides that are going to be my eyebrows, and then again two arches, smaller ones, under the eyebrows to mark the placement for the eyes. Once I have my purple outline done and the placement of the face features done as well, I'm proceeding to adding more details and overlining the lines that I already drew. I'm doing this with HB Automatic Pencil that will give me more precision. In this step, I'm also trying to define the shapes more. And also, if that's your first time drawing the face or if you're at the beginning of your art journey, I will advise you to look up some reference pictures so you will be able to study all the face features way better than if you would try to recall them from your memory. And basically, all I'm doing in this step is I'm just making my face sketch more clean and more defined. And as at this stage, my face still reminds a bit of a potato without any specific and determined shapes, at least not determined enough to color the drawing, I'm taking 3B Automatic Pencil, softer than the previous one, and I'm refining the face shape and the features again. At this point, I'm filling the eyebrows with strokes that will imitate eyebrows hair, and I'm also drawing the eyelids, adding eyelashes and shaping the tip of the nose. Also, if you want your face to look quite realistic, you need to pay attention to a lot of details. For example, when it comes to eyes, it will be tear ducts and lower eyelids. When it comes to nose, it will be the sides of the nose that are connected to the place above the cupid's bow. And I really hope that you understand what I mean and I'm trying to explain everything the best possible way. So I really hope that you get the sense of what I'm saying. Before I apply color, I'm erasing some of the pencil lines so I won't smudge it with my markers. Also, you can outline your drawing before coloring and I believe that's what the majority of people would do, but like I mentioned in my previous videos, I just prefer to outline after coloring since I like the effect that it gives way more. 
So I'm firstly applying a smooth layer of color covering the whole face and the neck. Just after I'm done with that, still using the same color, I'm enhancing the places that are usually more shaded than the rest of the face, so that will bring that three-dimensional kind of realistic effect to the face. Because that's what we are looking for, obviously. Then I'm taking a lighter shade of marker and I blend the colors together. Afterwards, I'm going over the shades once again and this time I'm using brush marker for softer finish. Once I have the basic colors and shading done, I'm starting to outline. I'm using 0.05 fine liners since they are super precise and they will allow me to do even the smaller details. My current favorites are microns and unipins, however unipins have tiny bit smaller tip which sometimes works better for details like eyelashes, eyebrows and etc. When uh, I'm done with outlining, I like to enhance the shading with brown color pencil and I'm just going over the areas like cheeks, temples, eyelids, nose and chin. Then I'm filling in the eyebrows and eyes with dark brown shade. I'm adding in the pupils with black fine liner along with little flash of the light inside of the pupil to throw some life into the eyes. I'm also coloring lips with neutral pink shade. And as the majority of the face is done now, I'm just ensuring that everything is blended well together and all the details are in place. Now I'm just adding some more finishing touches to my drawing. I like the skin color to be blended really well, so that's why I'm applying another layer of color to mix everything well together. You don't need to do it, of course, if you like the shading to be more visible and if you're more into shading that has some shape, more of like cartoony style, if you know what I mean. And I'm also using white pencil to add some highlights. And now to even compare coloring the face as a drawing to applying your makeup, especially contouring. You just use dark shade to contour and add definition and sharpen up the certain areas. And you use highlight to make the areas that are most put forward to pop out even more. So that's basically what we want to achieve while coloring the face. At the end I'm coloring the hair, this time I didn't pay that much attention to her hairstyle since I want to put all the focus on her face and her features, so I kept it simple like this. Anyways, I'm coloring uh, the hair with a plain dark brown color and I'm still adding a bit of shading to keep it natural and not flat. As the last step, I'm adding a really dark shadow under the chin so the face stands out more. Here you can finally see a quick close-up on the finished face drawing followed by the picture. And I think I can't say more about it except the fact that I really like the way it turned out. Alright, so that wraps up the face tutorial. I really hope that you liked it and I also hope that you found some advices that will help you to improve your face drawings. And um, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as usual, all the links to my other social media and uh, materials that I use are everything are going to be listed in the description box. So if you want to get some information, just make sure you click down below and check it all out. 
And uh, yeah, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!